Hey guys, so welcome to another uh, LRL art um, art video in making comics and art. Uh, I'm LRL art, and in my class I go by Mr. Alejandro. And uh, today I want to make a video on something that would be awesome for making comics, and that is making your own little booklet. So I made I made these fun little. Uh, little 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 comic strip books that all you need is a simple piece of paper and I could show those examples and you can make six pages all from one page right you would think that you'll need a couple of pages to put together but the reality is we could do this all with just one page and and in that you can go ahead and you can put uh, different um, drawings in there if you have clip art of a, a picture from a magazine or a sticker you could put all these things in there because you are the creative uh, artist in making these mini comics so what I want to do is I just want to show how you can make this with uh, the only thing you would need uh, assistance with if you have it is a pair of scissors and if you don't have scissors you could actually just tear in the center but uh, I do strongly suggest to ask your parent you know, if they have scissors or if you have your school scissors that are, um, you know, round at the edge to be able to cut. So I want to show you guys again. I want to show you guys how you guys can make a uh, little comic. And you guys can fill it up with artwork. Have a back cover, a front cover, and a couple of pages. Because I know you guys have a lot of great ideas that you can mix and match in there. Now... I know you guys are probably thinking is sometimes we don't all have uh, copy paper. If you don't have copy paper from a printer or just extra paper around, again, asking for permission first that I ask, uh, suggest is maybe you can even use pages from school. And again, just ask because these are fun as well. It kind of has that um, a diary of the wimpy kid feel. So it has those lines. And actually, I had fun putting one together so you could see that, right? So if you don't have copy paper, and if you use, uh, with your parents' permission, uh, school paper, that's cool. But again, these are all just an example that I just want to show that you guys can make at home. And um, these are really cool to do. So like I said, let's, let's go about putting uh, together a little mini comic if you will All right let's see let's see how we do this because this is a uh, still new to me how to show how to put one together in a video and hopefully this is something that we could do together and learn together so this is the, what the literal art uh, YouTube videos are about it's about being creative and it's okay if we make a mistake okay cool so what I want to do first is and this is an example um, we're going to start. So grab a piece of paper, right? And what I want you guys to do is fold it in half so it's equally. So on the top, you could fold it. And then on the side, you're going to tape it. You're going to hold it, going to squeeze it together. And you're going to go all the way down to the, the end. And so that part should match with that part, but it's okay if it doesn't, because sometimes, as you can see, it's a little off, but that's fine. That's cool, right? Right, so now we have a folded right down the middle. Right down the middle, right? Are you guys following? So the, we're gonna do the next step. So the next step is we're gonna fold this again. And this time, what we're gonna do is fold this to this side. Let's try that, okay? Again. We're, this is already folded in half, right? Keep it folded, right? And now what we're going to do is fold this side to the top side, right? Let's put it together, right? And it's okay if it doesn't, uh, you know, match up, but it's still folded in half. So now we could see again, just to see what I just did and just follow through is... I folded that in half. Now what I'm doing is folding this in half again. Now I'm gonna do another fold. This time I'm gonna fold the bottom to the top again so it's equally again. So together, right? Let's see. 
right, let's see. We're gonna try to keep it all in center, but it's okay if it's not all the way together, but it's cool, right? Squeeze. So you wanna make this side, you know, a nice little crease in there. So now we have one of our actual pages that would be like this. So you're probably trying to figure out is how did I make that booklet out of there? So now let's let's take this apart. We're going to unfold it all the way back to the original page, right? So we're going to unfold. And we're going to unfold again. And you can see we have one, two, three, four boxes. And we unfold again. And now we have four plus four is eight, eight boxes. Um, my all age uh, comic classes, they love these. So it's not just for uh, kids, but adults do these too. So these are fun. So now we're gonna get a little bit more technical in this. So we already did our three stages. We had folded it in half. And then what we did was even fold it center again. And then we folded it right there. So that was three steps. Now we're unraveling, right? Now this is the part where we're gonna incorporate using scissors. Now, again, if you guys have permission to use scissors, it's great. If you have the school scissors that are round, that's cool. But if you need help with a parent, have a parent help you with this. Again, cool. And adults, if you need help with that, ask another parent too, all right? It's okay to ask. There's nothing wrong with that. So right now, this is a um, this is part of the trick to keeping the whole book together because you don't require a stapler or needing it to be glued, right? So this is the part where we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do is, when we unraveled it now, now what we're gonna do is Fold it back in half, just again, like just recently, right? So I folded it in half like that, right? Now, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is, we're gonna cut from here to that line. You don't have to go past that line. You're just gonna go from here, the bottom, to here, right? So what we're gonna do is, you're gonna see that you're gonna follow that line from there to there, right? So we're just gonna put the scissors right on top of the line and then squeeze all the way to that line. That's it, all right? So what I did again again was I had folded this in half, right? And all I did was cut from here to there. So, okay, cool. Let's see, I'm gonna wait. Can you guys do it yet? Cool. Again, these are fun. Uh, I didn't, uh, I had a hard time making these for my first time. So if it's okay, if you guys didn't do it, it takes a lot of practice to try these. And these are fun. And you could make them for yourself, your family, your friends. You can even tell them. You could do that. You could create them. You can make your own mini comic book. Okay. So let's see. You guys cut that, right? So what I'm going to do is now fold it. Or not fold it. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn it upward. Now, this part is going to be a pickle. Not so much of a pickle, but we're going to try our best, okay? So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, it's still folded, but there's now a scissor cut. What we're going to do now is I'm going to fold this part to the back, right? And then this part goes to the front, and then it's folded. Actually, that's not what that is. So... Let's go back to that again. My apologies. Again, this is uh, my mistake and it's okay if we make mistakes, all right? So I'm holding it up over over my, um, my camera. So I'm trying to look at the artwork while I'm doing that. So that wasn't it. So, okay, one more time. Let me see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to unfold this all the way, whoop, 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 right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top, which really you're just going to just fold. And you're going to fold this top part to this side. And then with this part, you're going to fold to that side. See what I just did? All right, I'm going to take it apart and do it one more time. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this center part. And all I'm going to do is just slowly pull to this side where it doesn't, you're not ripping it. You're just... It was already folded, so what it is is you're just gonna pull this corner to that end corner, right? And then you can already see that the bottom part is already going to the front, all right? One more time, let's see. So I folded it, and it was all folded already, so I unfolded it. So what I'm gonna do is 
like squeeze together and you can see that the top is already popping up and as it's going up what I want you to do is grab your thumb with the center and put to the back of the tip of the uh, end of this page and with this one is already folding to the front so you're gonna pull that side right cool now this is now we're gonna start uh, it's gonna get easier now what we're gonna do is because it's already been folded in the middle we're gonna fold again right Fold, squeeze, just squeeze, right? So, and you can see on that side is squeeze just like this side, right? Now what we're gonna do is fold it, all right? Again, this is the part that's now we're getting to the home run, run stretch, my uh, baseball analogy. All right, so now it's folded into a square, a rectangle, right? So now you could see is we have a cover, a first page, a second page, a third page, a fourth page, a fifth page, and a sixth page, right? And then you have a back. And you don't need scissors. Or not scissors, you don't need staplers or you don't need glue, right? Because everything's now folded. So we have now that it's folded in half like that, now we have a mini book. And that's how you make a mini comic, right? I hope you guys are uh, sticking along for this part. This is cool. All right, so like I mentioned before, if you don't have copy paper, you know, with permission, ask to use school paper, if you can, it's cool. If you have, if you even have like uh, papers that um, have words on one side, but if you use the blank side, go and use that, right? So I just want to show you guys that this is how you could make mini comics with a piece of paper and scissors. And with the scissors, as you could see, you just need to do is cut through the middle. And now you have a mini book. And what I did right here is I'm showing what I just did right there. I'm going to show the example that I did beforehand. So what I did was I had a front cover for the comic. I had a first page and I numbered it one. I numbered it number two, because I'm going to draw on these pages. Number page three, page four, page five, and page six. And of course we have the back cover. Following through. If you guys need to pause, you're always uh, welcome to pause. Remember, this isn't a thing that's going to be like, I don't want you guys to feel like uh, it's... Um, it's a, a difficult task. If you have to pause and uh, go backwards, that's okay. I want you guys to be comfortable at making these uh, comics, right? And like I said, after the first couple that you make, you're going to be such an expert at making your own that you could do a little series and you keep adding adventures and adventures. And you guys are the cartoonists and creating on your own. And that's why... I wanted to make these just to incorporate stuff that you guys have made. So one of the things that I came up with, uh, I wanted to draw as a little adventure is I wanted to have my little alley cat in one of these adventures and it's so silly and you could use a picture, you could do panels. You guys remember panels and comic books are little boxes in there. So what I did was I made a little adventure booklet, just a little silly one, right? So on the top I have the title and I put Alley Cat Goes Nuts for Donuts because he loves donuts. Again, the tool that you're going to use in there is you could use pencil, you could use a pen, you could use crayon. If you have marker, all I suggest is, is that because this is copy paper, it might bleed through. So if you draw on a page like here and then you go to the back to the next page, it might bleed through. That's all I'm saying. But if you're confident and you to use it, that's very cool because I want you to be uh, using tools that you have. I just want to let you guys know if you do use a marker of some sort, like a Crayola marker, it might bleed. So, but in some parts the pages are separated, so you maybe could use a um, marker on that. But I would suggest using to add color to it, and it's cool. You could add color if not. You know, just keep it in black and white. So what I did was I just made this really silly adventure. Alley Cat goes nuts for donuts. 
So let's see. First page, Alley Cat. I made uh, three panels, as you can see. Panels are the little boxes, right? So I put panel one, panel two, panel three. Panel one is, one day Alley Cat was walking down the street. Look, he's whistling. And you can make it as detailed as you want. Or a simple shape, like I just did. So he's walking down the street. As you can see in, in the second panel, Alley Cat's actually thinking about something. He goes, hmm. And he looks over with heart eyes and his tongue sticking out and his mouth open, donuts. And you could see in this whole page, because I made one page with one image, he saw free donuts, so he started eating them. Nom, 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 nom. So he ate. But let's go to page four and let's see what happened. So after he ate that, he ate till his belly was full and he's all happy. And he pats his belly. You know, when you eat a delicious meal, you t kind of pat your belly. I mean, I do. So he's happy and he's full and he goes, a nice nap was needed. So he does a spin. Whoop. Ah, he's happy. He has a belly full of donuts and he's catching Z's. Again, this is one of my little comic strips that I wanted to create and show. And you could see I had a little Crayola color to that. All right. So you will be the creative one in here. All right. So let's see. After he ate his delicious donuts and he's going to take a little nap, catching Z's. He finds out, wah, it was all a dream. His his alarm clock woke him up. It was all a dream. His eyes are big, blink, blink. My belly's normal. And he's patting and it's tiny again. Ha, 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 ha. Hmm, how about a pizza? So he's, he's already thinking about his next meal that he would love to eat for the day. So again, you can make a, a comedy. If you want to make a horror, you can make a sci-fi with robots. Just have fun with it. And it's a six panels. And if you want to do a picture for different pages, that's cool too. It's all about fun and you are the creative one. And guess what? No one else can tell you that. You can just have fun with these and make these. And you can make a bunch of them. You could use the paper if you have from school with the permission. Or if you have copy paper, you could do that. And if you have color copy paper, like construction paper, that's awesome too. So you can use different ones. And then, you know, that's it. So that the end with that. Look, he took a bite out of the donut that he's sticking his head through. Mmm, the end. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this adventure and making a comic. And I know my other pages are made for how we draw heads and how we draw superheroes. I just thought that this would be an awesome technique to do. And how we put together a simple single piece of paper into making comic strips making them into mini comics so i just want to show these these examples for this day today and again i want you guys to have fun with it i want you guys to be creative and i just you know i just want you to see that you can do these too you could share them with your family your friends and you could even you know uh, build it as your own portfolio. And portfolio is more of like your work that you gather and put together. Some of it might be in pencil, some of it might be in, in Crayola, some of it might even be in pen, but it's all in that. So I just want to say thank you guys for following these uh, YouTube uh, videos that I create. I have uh, a Patreon page where you guys are welcome to uh, follow. That's uh, the link uh, clicked at the description. I also have people asking about tools that I use like um, pencils and even pencil brushes, which I have links for those where you could just click to it and you can be able to buy from online store if you can't get out to the store and they can mail it to you. So I'm a little art. And I go by Mr. Alejandro at my schools. And I hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are keeping busy and being creative. So this video is fun. I hope to see you guys for the next adventure in making artwork and comics. So guys have a good one. Peace. Bye.